During his address, General Chanda commended the soldiers for their dedication and reiterated the purpose of the Chief of Defense Forces mobilization drive, which was initiated due to a decline in the soldiers' adherence to the UPDF ideology. A place where political education, after we took over power in 1986, had its home. And you know the background, the strength of the UPDF. You know that we have survived where others have failed. We have been successful where they have failed because of correct political line. That would not have been possible if we did not have a great leader like His Excellency the President Yoel Kagutam Seven. Brigadier General David Mogisha, the SFC commander and a member of the CDF mobilization team, expressed gratitude for the visit and praised the CDF's efforts in implementing the mobilization drive. This exercise mobilization seeks to remind us of our mandate as enshrined in the Article 209 of our Constitution, which is preserve, defend, protect, cooperate, foster harmony, and engaging in productive efforts to facilitate social economic transformation. The initiative aims to increase ideological awareness among UPDF members and create frameworks that foster a liberated mindset within the force. During the gathering, the soldiers were presented with papers on the UPDF Code of Conduct, revolutionary methods of work, and major service offenses. The Chief of Training and Recruitment, Brigadier General Matthew Gureme, applauded the troops for their commitment to maintaining peace and stability in the country. Colonel Chris Ogumerachi, the UPDF Director of Operations and Other Than War, provided historical insights highlighting the transition from non-patriotic and sectarian armies to the formation of the National Resistance Army. Colonel John Fred Yonata, CEO of Wazalendo Sako, emphasized the UPDF's commitment to the welfare of its members. Welfare is that stabilizing factor that you bring after you have done everything. You build a force, you train it, you equip it, then you give it the welfare as a glue for all those other things to ensure that the force has the willpower to fight. The SFC soldiers expressed gratitude for the opportunity to interact with leaders from the strategic level and requested quarterly engagements for a more comprehensive exchange of ideas. <laughs>